Hey there, boys and girls of the YouTube world. Santa Mortsky here, along with Duff. He's gonna make an appearance. Oh yeah, there he is. We got our we got our Santa shirt on. Uh, I do it for the hose. Duff got this for me for Christmas. We thought we'd do a quick little video. If you've got that special someone in your family that needs a Christmas gift and they're an automotive enthusiast, much like we are, and, and you probably are if you're watching this channel, or if you're said automotive enthusiast and you need to buy something for your buddy, or your wife, your kids, your parents are asking about something, what, what they can get you for Christmas, I know we're not giving you much time here, but most of this stuff you can either get from us, or you can get from Amazon, or you can run down to your local parts store and get it in a hurry. So if you're looking for a present for yourself, or looking to get one for somebody else, this is what we got going on here. So, what do we got first, Morris? We're going to start with uh, lowest price first for you budget minded. We're all budget minded here, let's be honest here, but some of this stuff's... I don't know, for that special, special someone that, you know, maybe you got too much money, maybe you got that big fat Christmas bonus, the, you know, the Jelly of the Month Club. It's a, it's a one year membership in the Jelly of the Month Club. And you want to pass that gift on to that special someone, so you want to splurge and, and maybe spend a little bit more than $10, maybe you want to spend 100 bucks or 200 bucks or 300 bucks. Or maybe you could spend like $1,000 and you can get all this stuff. But anyway, I'll show you some stuff that we've got. Uh, links for all this stuff, Amazon, we are an Amazon associate, affiliate, something like that. So we do get a small cut if you use the links down below. So if you use it, greatly appreciate it. If you go buy it locally, that's even better. Support your local economy, your local small mom and pop shops. And if they don't, if, if, if they've got a different brand than what we've got here, so be it. A lot of this stuff is, it, it's all relevant. It's all kind of the same stuff. There's a lot of knockoffs and so on and so forth. So that being said... Come sit down on my lap. I'm gonna pull up my uh, naughty and nice list that you can't read because my chicken scratch is terrible. And we're gonna get started here. First up, you see a lot of these magnetic dishes around. I got this from Napa to not. I didn't get this from Napa Todd. Napa Todd had it. Uh, so I think Napa deals in these, maybe? I don't know. He works at Napa and he had one. So, but maybe he got it from the Amazonian. The first ones I got, these are a magnetic tool tray. I really like them. Because instead of having, you know, the other ones have to sit vertically in one of those little small little petri dish things. They're stupid. And the magnets don't stay on them and they come apart and the glue sucks. And these things are freaking awesome. You can, you can drop them. They don't bang. Uh, they got this neat little hook. I don't know what that would be for, but you could, you could hang it on the wall if you needed to. Or you could hang it on the Christmas tree. But uh, the first ones I got were made by Capri. And they were like 25 bucks or 30 bucks. But uh, you can get a pair of these ones. They're a knockoff. Uh, I, we got them scattered everywhere, and I just leave parts of them for projects for months and months at a time. So I just went and bought some more. So I got like six of these for me on the shelf. These things are awesome. This one's brand new, you can tell, because of the way that it is. This is an Aspen. You can tell that it's an Aspen tree because of the way it is. These things are great. I think these are like, let me look at my list here, 13 bucks. They're stupid cheap. They're awesome. Like I said, they got that really deep dish on the bottom, so you can stick it to the side of your toolbox. You can stick it to the side of an inner fender. You can stick it to the side of a fender. You can stick it to the side of your fridge. You can do whatever you want. You could probably use this in the kitchen. You know, you keep your keys in it. You keep your spare change out. It's it's super versatile. So versatile that it didn't break when I dropped it on the floor. So magnetic socket tray, super good. Thirteen bucks. I think it's thirteen bucks for a pair. Maybe it's a piece. I don't. know. If you get a pair of them for 13 bucks, split them up and give one to your uncle too. Uh, anyway, what's next on the list? The Spill Proof Funnel Kit. This is by EP Auto. You could get something similar to this at your local O'Reilly's, your Napa, your Car Quest. Any parts store is going to have a similar knockoff to this. Uh, it's got all the adapters for different radiators. You put the adapter on your radiator cap, and then there's adapters if your radiator cap's at an angle, it puts it up at an angle. And then there's a plug in here. So uh, once your radiator gets full, you put that plug, or you squeeze the top radiator hose so you got a little bit of room for air and you slide that plug in and you unsqueeze it and you pull this off. No spill. It's got all these different adapters to go on pretty much every radiator cap you can imagine. And then you put this back over your cooling jug, you pull that plug out, dumps it in there. Bada bing, ah bada boom. I'm really good at making messes. I whistle Duff's running out the door because he's like, what does that mean we're hunting birds? But anyway, Spill Proof Funnel Kit by EP Auto. Again, link down below for where you can get it, you know, if you get it through Amazonia. Hopefully you guys can get these in time. If not, you know, give them to them late. It's it's better. A late gift is, is better than no gift. So let's be honest. Or it's 
better than, I was going to say better than socks, but uh, socks, they come with age. Like, I, I'm really hoping mom gets me a pair of socks for Christmas because uh, I love a new pair of socks. What can I say? So, Spill Proof Funnel Kit, EP Auto. I'm not going to throw this because it's going to make a mess. 25 bucks. And next on the list, we got the loser switch. I, I think me calling him the loser switch is not because I'm a loser. Clearly, you know that I'm not a loser. You wouldn't be watching because you'd be a loser too. It's because I lose these things left and right. I had my original one, don't know where it's at. I had my replacement one that somebody sent me, don't know where it's at. So then I bought two more of them just to have on the shelf. I haven't even opened it yet. It's brand new. Uh, anyway, that's why they're called loser switches, because you lose them. So, these things are, I think are 25 bucks. You could spend more, you can get some nicer ones. I've had really good luck with, with these ones. I don't like the trigger style one, putting used one in one of his videos, and it didn't last very long. And they just, they don't seem as well built as uh, some of these other ones. And I think we're paying, do, 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 25 bucks. Again, link down below, you can click on it, we can get it through Amazon. It's got a five foot oil and grease resistant 12 gauge wire lead. Push button switch providing long life and reliable operation. Allows start and crank of the engine from either side of the vehicle. Great, who's not to love it? It goes both ways. Next on the list, starting at $27. These, these three you gotta hit us up. Mortskyrepair at gmail.com. You can pay us via PayPal or you can snail mail us a check. If you snail mail us a check, it's probably gonna take a while for that to get here, for us to cash it, for us to get these, you're probably not gonna get these by Christmas. But, right now, and only right now, if you hit us up with PayPal, we will mail these to you ASAP, because I know the holidays are coming. These are a great stocking stuffer. This is the SS5, the standard SS5, the SS5 long, whatever you wanna call it. This is 5 eighths inch wide. Uh, carbide tip, these are lifetime guaranteed. If you ever damage these, you send them back super scraper, boom, they'll fix it for you or send you your replacement. Uh, this is $29. These are made in the USA, small mom and pop shop in Iowa. I can't think of the name of the town. Uh, we are a dealer for these. Uh, the SS5, 5 ace wide, 29 bucks. This is the SS5 short. Now, personally, I use these on a weekly basis. I use them all the time. The Spunnel Fill Kit, I probably use uh, twice a month, three times a month. Loser Switch, use that weekly. That funnel. There's a funnel, the uh, magnetic socket tray. I use that every single day. Not that one, but one. The short one here, the SS5S, which stands for, S, stands for SS5 short, is $20. Cute little guy. Uh, and then this is my favorite one. This is the SS1. I use this probably the most commonly. This is 36 bucks shipped. At the time of this video, these are the prices on these things. Uh, come the first of the year, we might have to jack up our rates because inflation, it's not real, but uh, I have to pay more to ship things, I have to pay more for products, to pay more for everything else in this world, so, but anyway, 36 bucks shipped, this, this would be my number one choice, my second would be this guy, because it's two bucks cheaper, it's nice for small spots, this guy, I don't really know why they make, but a lot of people buy it, it, it I mean, these two are great for if you're like small engines, motorcycles, four-wheelers, boats, stuff like this, but for general automotive purposes, this is uh, pretty good. Go around. I like the way it fits in my hand. Uh, I like the, uh, the wood. No, not like that, but uh, you know what I mean. And it's, it's just got a good feel to it, and uh, we're just making this awkward. Anyway, super scrapers, hit us up, repair at gmail.com. Down below, send us an email of what you're looking for. We'll tell you how to work it out. PayPal works best, or you can snail mail us a check. Uh, again, $27, $29, and $36 for these bad boys. Get yourself one. Great sock supper. Uh, it, if you've never used one of these, these things are literally awesome. I'm not going to put my name on something that's complete garbage. Uh, these things are great. I don't make a ton of money on them. I just like getting a good product out there. Uh, for any of you that are on the fence about these things, once you use one, if you don't like it, tell you what, send it back, I'll give you your money back. These things are the cat's pajamas. You'll never want to use one of those silly scrapers. The only thing is these aren't that amazing on aluminum. They'll really dig into aluminum if you get out. They're great for getting your gaskets off. They'll gouge up aluminum. So uh, if you work on a lot of late model stuff, maybe not so good. Or I don't know. That's the only thing is they get pretty aggressive on aluminum if you're uh, really getting after it. But anyway, awesome product. They're way better than any scraper that's out there that I've Next on the list, again, use this daily, multiple times a day. This is the Cyclops Watch West work. He put me onto these things. He did a little video like this, uh, some special tools that he liked. Uh, these things are, I think, 35 bucks. They've gone up. I want to say they were like 20 or 25 bucks. We started buying them, but 
These things are awesome. They got three settings. Boom, boom, and yowza! Yowza! Watch out. Uh, they've got a little, they come with a little USB adapter to plug these in. I don't know what adapter it is. You probably got one like that in your house or whatever. Uh, but they, they come with the cord. You just need the uh, USB adapter. These things have the most amazing magnet at the bottom of these things. I've bought four of these. Uh, we were down to two this week. I found one under the Bullnose Ford. So we're back up to three. We still got one that's MIA. I picked up a couple uh, more because I thought we were down to two. So I wanted to get back up to six. Anyway, long story short, these magnets are so good. I had a buddy who went on a 40 mile round trip ride, got home, went back outside later that night and saw underglow on his Mopar and was like, oh, there's my light. I've done the same thing. I've the ramp truck, I drove that out in the yard later that night. I was leaving the shop and I looked and I saw the ramp truck glowing and uh, yeah, these things stick real good. They're adjustable. Uh, the one thing that Wes and I both don't like is you set this on setting number one and you think, you know, an hour later when you want to go turn it off, you press it, boom, it should turn off. No, it just goes low, medium, high every time you push it. So that's kind of the weird, quirky thing about it. You know, engineers are into weird stuff like that, so it probably isn't going to bother the rest of you. You can get these in different colors. I think I've seen them in red and yellow, same price. Again, link down below. I use these things all the time. Again, you're thinking, ah, it's just a light. No, these things are way good. The magnet is the best part. The magnet is what makes these things. They're adjustable. They last for a really, really, really long time. It takes them a little while to charge. There again, if you're in the shop a lot, uh, I would suggest having two of these. That's why I have more than one, because you know one goes dead and you need to quit for the day because you don't have a light. Because going to any other light really, really sucks. These things are good. They're made by Maxion, the Cyclops light. Uh, Ottawa, Canada. Oh, they're from Kanukistan, so good stuff. Link down below, 35 bucks. Next on the list, this is kind of a uh, gear wrench. Gear wrenches are freaking awesome. These are some stubby ones. Uh, these are some indexable ones. Uh, you can get these in standard metric. You get them in regular length. You get them uh, reversible. And then there's stubby ones. There's long held ones. There's X handled ones. You can buy one single wrench for five, eight bucks, or you can buy some of these whole kits for 60 bucks. You can buy some big kits for two, three hundred bucks. You can buy them all. I don't know. I use gear inches uh, probably every single day that I'm out in the shop. So let's just say seven days a week, multiple times a day. Uh, really good product. They stand behind their product. Uh, I've warrantied my, I think my 15 16 probably four times now. Don't ask me why that one keeps failing. Probably because of what we do with it. But uh, no questions asked. Just send them an email. They don't ask for any pictures or nothing it seems like. So kind of questionable, but they send one out. Uh, super great product. Anything that Gear Wrench makes, I, I love my Gear Wrench. That's another thing I probably should add over here. I think they're, let's say they're probably 35 bucks. The spark plug adapter sockets, they got a magnet in them instead of those terrible rubber boots that all of us hate. The magnet is, is way more good. It releases when you want to release, but it sticks when you want to stick. And they got a built in wobble and extension on them. They're, they're really good. Check those out. Uh, gear Wrench ratchets, I've had good luck with those. I've got uh, some Gear Wrench mid length sockets that are awesome. You know, sometimes you don't need a stubby or a, or a deep, you just want that mid length one. I probably use those mid length ones. 20% more than I use my other sockets. I use those all the time, partly because they're on a, on a, a rack that I just grab and I take over the vehicle instead of moving my whole toolbox over there. But gear wrench stuff, like I said, anywhere from 10 bucks to 300 bucks. You can spend as much as you want, depending on the kit. Uh, I won't have a link down below for any of this gear wrench stuff because I don't recommend a certain set. You know, like I said, these are uh, flexible. Some of them are reversible with the switch on them. These ones are not reversible and these are studies. Uh, best bet on these is to go to your local parts store or your local hardware store, they probably got some. There's different brands of them too. I'm not saying you gotta get Gear Inch, but Gear Inch really stands behind their product from what I have seen. I've had a really great look. All right, now back to, uh, so this is, well this is the, I think this is the fuel. So this is not exactly what I'm gonna advertise down below. This one's a little bit more expensive, the fuel. It's got a little bit more torque. What I'm gonna put down below is your standard Milwaukee 12 volt ratchet. There is other 3 8 ratchets out there. Wes uses the one that Harbor Freight or sells. I don't know if it's Icon or what it is. You don't have to comment down below. I don't have one. I don't really care. Uh, Milwaukee. I have Milwaukee batteries for everything else in the shop, so I just stick with Milwaukee. And this is what got me into Milwaukee. These 3 Ace ratchets are the cat's pajamas. They got a little light in there. They get in the, in, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, I think it's 107, 103 bucks. 
for the standard ratchet for just your standard M12, this is the fuel, it's a little bit more money. If you do as much wrenching as me, I would say go with the fuel, but I this is the first fuel I've had. I think I've worn out four of these things. Uh, not worn out four, we've worn out two, and there's one in Mojo's toolbox, and there's one in my toolbox. Again, use these things every single day. They're awesome. Anything that Milwaukee makes uh, that's automotive related is great. I have a half inch drive impact that my parents got me for Christmas that is, I couldn't tell you the last time I used my half inch air impact. It's quieter, it's portable, obviously I can take it in the field with me. Uh, I don't have to drag a hose around the shop. It's freaking awesome in the uh, words of Mickelson Racing Channel. Freaking awesome. RIP to that channel. Just kidding, it's still alive. He'll, he'll bring it back one of these days, maybe. Are you gonna bring it back for us? He's editing this video right now, because he's a good kid. Ah, uh, 3 Ace, uh, uh, stubby cordless impact. I have one of those. Uh, really good luck with that. They make an M12 tire inflator. Oh, that's pretty good, but I would say I've got the 18 volt tire inflator and that thing is way good. Either of those are pretty good, but uh, I like the 18 volt better. It's just faster and uh, the battery lasts longer, which when you're out there in the field using it, then uh, you want it to last longer. But again, you can get into these 3 ace ratchet. I should have grabbed the other ratchet. I'll have a link down below for the uh, just the standard ratchet. But if you want to bump up to a fuel, maybe I'll try to remember to put the link for the uh, fuel ratchet in there. It's it's like another 75 or 100 bucks. But 100 bucks, well worth it for somebody who's going to be in the shop a lot, or even if you're not a lot and you just like quirky, fancy, nice tools. Boom. And you can drop them. They're good. They like it. 175 bucks. This is the Power Probe 3. They make several different Power Probes. This is the only one I really have experience with. I don't use this Power Probe weekly per se, but I probably use it a couple times a month at least. Uh, this thing, I don't know what I'm gonna really gonna show you. Uh, if you're scared of electronics, this might help you. You know, to, to be uh, a little bit more savvy with said electronics. Yeah, this is the it's the PP3. Uh, did I say? Come on, I don't know. It's, it's made in some communist country that we won't recommend. It's got adapters to go in your cigarette lighter. It's got all these adapters over here, which I have never used for uh, tapping into wires because I don't like poking holes in wires because uh, that's not good because the corrosion gets in there. Comes with some more adapters. Again, I've never used I've probably had this kit for five years. I use it a lot. Never use these adapters. Uh, you can send power. So you hook this up to your battery on your vehicle with the uh, roach clips here, ch -ch -ch. Woo and it powers this thing up, it's got a light on the end of it so you can see what you're doing when you're underneath the dash. You can apply power to a wire by pressing up, you can apply a ground by pressing down. So if you're trying to, you know, fire, you know, figure out if a light bulb's got a bad power ground, you could probe to see if it's got, this thing will make two different beeps, it makes a high pitched beep if it sees power, and it makes a low pitched beep if it's got ground. And if you don't have one of those, you can apply ground or power to either side of, you know, say a circuit and see if that circuit is in fact good. And then there's a built-in, you can turn off the beeper here and then you can, there's a resettable circuit breaker is which it's just a circuit breaker, right? It's not reset. Is there a difference between a resettable? Yeah, I suppose some of them are, well, if it would, if it would just be a fuse if it wasn't resettable. Anyway, there's a circuit breaker on the side here. So if you do something stupid, it just goes click and it pushes you out and then you just reset it. This is the adapter that I use all the time for, you know, probing stuff. Boop, put that in there. It comes with an extension. So like when I'm doing trailer lights, I can hook this up to the battery on my vehicle, put the extension on there and I can reach all the way to the back of my 20 foot car trailer. So I mean, roughly 40 feet worth of extensions in there. Uh, I'm sure you can go check out their website for all of the uh, exact specs. Again, $175, so it's it's kind of expensive, but if you're doing a lot of electrical diagnosis, this is great. Um, this is way better than test light. I couldn't tell you the last time I used my test light. Mojo's old school, he's using a test light all the time. I'm like, get with the times, Mojo. And, it, and it's got a uh, digital readout on there, so if you are checking for voltage and you are seeing voltage, it'll tell you how many volts, you know, if it's 11.2 or six volts or five, you know, if you're using a five volt reference signal, yada, yada, yada. I think Wes uses one of these. There are some knockoffs out there for, for cheaper. Um, your mileage may vary on those. I'm not gonna say that they're good. I'm not gonna say that they're bad. Power Probe is, is kind of the, uh, you see these in all the big shops. I was around a lot of uh, equipment repair shops uh, in, in my previous life, and every shop had one of these. They make, they make different adapters you can buy to add onto these. They make, 
whatever. You, you, they make a, a, a plain Jane Power Probe 1 probably, and then they probably make like a Power Probe 5 with a bunch of adapters for doing late model car stuff. But these Power Probes are way good if you use a test light much. These things are, are, are way better. We're not gonna throw that because it's expensive. Next on the list, now we're getting, we're getting kind of, we're getting expensive. These are Norseman Super Premium Reamers. You got three eighths, half inch, five eighths, and three quarter inch. They have uh, flat sides on the shanks, which any drill bit or anything you buy that goes into a three eighths cordless drill. I do have a three eighths Milwaukee cordless drill too. I don't know that I have a three eighths. I think we, I think the Milwaukee corded reciprocating saw things still like. But anyway, anything that you put in a, a three eighths or a half inch drill should be three-sided like this otherwise you you guys who do this stuff a lot know they they slip and they spin on your bits and you, then you get mad and it chews up your bit once they spun once they spin a million times and you're you hate it but uh norseman makes some really good drill bits i think you can get the drill bits for a little bit cheaper than these but these things are awesome uh a drill bits can leave you like a three-sided hole if you've ever noticed when you're drilling a hole in metal you get a three-sided hole these things make a perfectly round hole these things are pretty good money i think they're yep 191 bucks you're just you're just about knocking on 200 bucks with these things. Uh, Chin will tell you pretty much anytime I'm doing a fabrication project or even not even fabricating, just drilling a hole in a firewall. I will drill a whole pilot hole with a drill bit and then pull these things out. Uh, they're nice. They don't grab as much as a drill bit and spin you around when they blow through. They don't grab. They don't break. I use these things pretty hard and I will suffice to say that there is... There is a little bit of damage on this uh, 3 ace one, but the other three, there's no damage on them. And I use these things hard. Uh, 200 bucks, it seems like a lot of money. I I cried a little bit when I bought these. I'm gonna forget the comment, but it's like, long after the pleasure of buying cheap things, taste has gone from your mouth, the poor quality taste will still be, I don't know. When you, when you buy something cheap, you're like, oh, I got a good deal, but then when it's a piece of crap, not shortly thereafter and you keep buying cheap ones or you buy a good one. You know what I'm saying? Buy once, cry once. These Norsemen, anything made by Norsemen, super good. Not a paid advertisement for any of this stuff, except for super scrapers. I do pocket a little bit of change there for the sandwiches and you know, stuff like that. Um, these things are these things are, are big money. Uh, I don't expect many people to buy these, but I just thought, you know, if you're a... Well, let's be honest, a lot of you folks that are watching this are, I believe, you know, I. YouTube gives me the analytics are, you know, 50 to 75 year old white males. So let's just say you got three or four kids and they're all like, hey, what are we gonna buy dad for Christmas? I don't know. So your dad, they come ask you, you'd be like, hey, give me some of the Norseman drill bits. So you split this between four ways. That's 50 bucks per kid. You know, you just paid for them to go, you know, waste away their life at uh, some state university for some political science degree that they're never gonna use. So they can splurge to spend 50 bucks on you for the holidays, dad. You deserved it. So, yes, uh, these things are union made in the USA. Again, USA product. Good stuff. I don't know what else in here is made in the USA. Probably just the super scrapers. Ah, uh, anyway, those things are good. Oh, the other thing that I, I didn't bring in here because it's not really much show, ultrasonic cleaners. If you're doing a lot of carburetors is what I mainly see it for, but you could use it for other things. What could we use it for, Duff? Like, I don't know. You, clean, you could use it for cleaning up hardware, jewelry. I don't know. Maybe you could use it for cleaning up ammunition. Maybe cleaning brass for reloading rifles and stuff. Um, ultrasonic cleaners, they vary depending on, you know, the make, model, brand, size. I'd say anywhere from 50 bucks to 200 bucks. We have probably a hundred and twenty five dollar one in it because we bought like a seventy five dollar one and it would work for two barrel carburetors we had to spend a little bit more money to get a bigger one to get for so we could fit four barrel carburetors in it so uh yeah they're, they're those things are really good they got a heater in them it heats up whatever liquid you got in there and then it uh ultrasonic vibration so that it cleans out everywhere they're really good for cleaning carburetors i would highly recommend i mean even if you're not doing that many carburetors if you do like you know, one or two a year, I'd say it's definitely worth it. And then, you know, borrow it out to your friends and, you know, charge them a case of beer to do it or just borrow it to them and then they never bring it back. You know how that stuff goes. But ultrasonic cleaners, uh, like I said, I, I won't put a link down below because there's so many different ones. And if you're doing motorcycle carburetors, get the small one or, or small engine rater, stuff like that. You don't need the big one that I have. So I'm, I'm not going to list out every single one and 
And then people are going to ask me, well, what size do you have? I don't even know. Last but not least, the Universal Hydraulic Flaring Tool Set by Master Cool. I think there's some other companies making these as well. These have gone up significantly. I did not pay this much when I bought mine. This is 345 American doll hairs. But if you are doing, I would say if you've been hand flaring stuff and you use one of these, you'd be like, I absolutely hate my life. I couldn't tell you the last time I used my hand flaring tool. They makes like Eastwood makes a kit that, that you know, this guy's a lever pull type one, but you got to put that in a vise. This you can uh, flare a line on a car. That's what I really like about this portable. These things are these things are a lifesaver. If you are planning on doing like a street rod or a revamp where you are going to completely make your own lines for that car, it is well worth it to buy this kit. And you could sell it when you're done and get, and recoup most of your money. Put it on you know Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, eBay, whatever. But you'll be so happy with it, you'll throw it on the shelf and use it the next time that you're working on a hot rod project. These things are. Way, way, way good. You get a perfect flare. I, 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 I bet I've probably made 300 flares with this thing since I've put it together. And I've probably had six bad flares. And five of those six flares were within probably the first 10 flares that I did because I thought, you know, you got to squeeze it real hard because that was the key with the, uh, with that, the regular hand manual ones. Uh, you, you can't over, you, you don't want to over squeeze the snot out of this lever because you will screw up the flare. You don't want to do that. So I, there's adapters in here for push to connect fuel lines, push to connect transmission lines. Uh, you can do uh, metric lines. You can do metric bubble flares. You can do single flares. You can do double flare brake lines. Uh, it comes with a, a cutting tool for cutting your brake lines. It's, it's super, super easy to use. Uh, super low maintenance. This thing, these things are just awesome. If you're doing a lot of you know, if you're doing an LS swap, you can do push to connect fuel lines, you can do push to connect tranny lines. Very, very, very good investment. I would say uh, get yourself on these links at 345 bucks. It is a lot of money. If 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 two of you people buy this thing, I will be utterly amazed that anybody bought these. But um, if you buy this for this special someone in your life, or if you request that your family buys it for you, you will not. Be disappointed. Those things are really good. So that's all I have. Uh, I just wanted to get a quick video out before the holiday season because I wanted to get this, you know, around like Black Friday, Thanksgiving time so that uh, you people had some time to, you know, put some feelers out and see if that special someone in your life wanted this stuff or, you know, you could, you know, be nudging your kids or your spouse or whoever and say, yeah, maybe you want to get me that Power Pro for Christmas. But this is a lot of really good quality stuff that uh, we use a lot around here, the shop. We use it a lot. We've had very good luck with it. Uh, again, I would recommend all of this stuff. And last but not least, I forgot, click the link down below. Get yourself some Worski merch. This is the OBS pickup. We've got a uh, chin square body pickup. We've got the 71 Ford. We got uh, the 62 Chevy pickup with Duff in it. We got the D100 pickup. We got, oh, I, I'm, these things are, are really kicking butt lately. The uh, Morski Mountain Dew merch. Don't hit us up. Click the link down below. I have a, this is just stuff that I keep, you know, for, for my friends when, when they come over and have a sandwich with me. I, I give them a shirt for supporting us. I would recommend, I like these uh, tri-blend shirts. These are, what is it, Next Level brand. These are super good. I know it's it's the winter time, so you probably want hoodies, but there's hoodies in there. There is, uh, you name it, there's, I think there's stocking hats, there's ball caps in there, there's baby stuff tie-dye shirts. There's all kinds of different merch in there. Um, like I said, the next level t-shirts are what I really enjoy because that's my preference. So yeah, Morski merch, I, it, I mean, it's it's going to be anywhere from 10 bucks to infinity, depending on how much of it you buy. Uh, and we get a cut of that, obviously. So that helps out the channel as well if you want to get some of that stuff. I couldn't tell you how long it takes to ship. You're going to have to get on it. Rate me out when this video comes out and uh, you might have a chance on getting it by Christmas. No guarantees. I don't know how long the shipping delays are. But if you send us an email to get a super scraper, rate me out. I will get them shipped out the next day for you so that you get it to that special someone or for yourself or whatever. So thank you very much for watching. 
Check out the other videos, like, comment, subscribe. Hope everybody has a super great holiday. Uh, hope to see you next year. We're going to try to keep cranking out some awesome content. So, yeah, speaking of that, we got to get back at it because, uh, yeah, we got to keep getting junk running and junk fixed and whatever it is that we just do around here. Uh, enjoy sandwiches and uh, time with each other. That's what the holiday season's right about, right, Duff? Sandwiches and spending quality time together. Maybe we should go hunting today. Just kidding. It's it's a freaking blizzard out there. Remember, it doesn't matter how you get it done, as long as you're having fun. Ugly sweaters, they're fun. All right, on to the next one.